Hit it with him, James. Oh, yeah, man. You know, Papa got a brand new bag. 12 minutes after 9 o'clock on your Wednesday morning, it's the Tony Rose Morning Show, Sam 100.7, best station in the whole world. That's a fact, Jack. I'll take that to the bank anywhere. I uh, hope you guys are having a good one, man. I'm done fired up on the line with me. Uh, one of, he's now a four-time guest on the Tony Rose Morning Show. I cannot believe it. So good to catch up with him again. You know him as Dr. Achi Morris on ER. It's Scott Grimes. What's up, Scotty? Nothing. How you doing, brother? Good, man. Good catching up with you again, man. How's life treating you out in, uh, in, in California, it's man? It's great, man. Four times? on the show, huh? Yeah, this is you right now, a four-time guest. One more time, actually, and you get a free buffet, actually. Oh. It, yeah, it's, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing, buddy, I tell I'll you. I'll call back tomorrow, then. We'll do it tomorrow. Yep. I need that buffet. I tell you, it's, it's like the old Subway Stamp Club. You know, we keep it going around here. You know? it's, it's all good, <laughs> man. Uh, so how are things going, man? Everything going good? Yeah, you know, it's going. Still doing the show, doing ER, having fun, getting lucky, you know. That's what it's all about. I, mean, I saw the previews for this new episode. What are you like on a, on a table with blood flying everywhere? It's like you're possessed by the devil or something, it's man. It's so weird that, you know, I just saw the commercial recently. And people are calling me going, dude, are you dying on the show? And I'm like, <laughs> no. I mean, I, I shouldn't give anything away, but, I, you know, I'm not dying. I'm actually, it's quite a humorous thing. I actually end up tasing tasering myself <laughs> oh man so you can and it's all in fun and it's all cool so nothing i don't die or anything even though most people out there watching would probably want to see me die see that's that big dramatic nbc promo voice guy right there but he can paint the picture can he right yeah. exactly who's going to die today <laughs> the whole thing they do man you tease people oh man so uh so yeah so we got er it's on uh, tomorrow night uh, now, how many years has that show been on now? Like 80 years or something? Yeah, Seriously, 87, it's... yeah. No, the, the, this is the 14th, and next year will be the 15th and final season of ER. Wow. Now, are you going to ride it out to the end, you think? You're going to keep, I am. Uh, keep yep. you on I'm uh, scheduled to be on the show for the remainder of the time, but you never know. If you get tased too much, you could die, you know? <laughs> now, I mean, how cool is that, though? I mean, you're thinking about it. You know, a legendary show. Seriously, I think, you know, the finale of ER, it's going to be one of these huge finales, like when Cheers went off the air, when, when MASH went off the air, and you're going to be there for that to happen, that historical moment. Does it kind of give you chills? Or are you kind of fired up about, I mean, does that, did you get excited about that? Or you kind Yeah, of it gives me chills end? every time I step onto that set, first of all, because I was a big fan before I went on, but to, to be involved in it to the to the end is just the coolest thing especially if you know people like Clooney or Noah or yeah. all the great people if they come back and visit and I'm, I'm I'm hanging with them that would be great too so I'm really I'm honored man now uh now what else you got going on I know ER is keeping you busy but I know you're still jamming right you still playing music yep still I'm writing a new record right now and hopefully in June we'll be able to do that before we kick back on ER and uh yeah as long as you know, people. You know, people played the last record, and uh, I got lucky with that. So right hopefully, they'll play this new one, and uh, it'll. We'll get. We'll get. I'll get to go on the road and, and play for people. Now, describe the sound a little bit, because I mean, like we played some stuff from from yeah. from you guys here well, before, and everything. The sound, the sound used to be kind of a uh, you know, Brian Adams y pop music and stuff, but right. now you know, I, I unfortunately had a divorce recently, so it's a little darker, a little bit more. Uh, you know, a little angrier. <laughs> right on, man. There you go. There you, you know, go. So it's a new, a new sound, and uh, yeah. yeah, I always try to change it up. You know, you want, you don't want to give the same thing, and and hopefully people will listen to this one. Now, of course, uh, you've been in a lot of movies too. You've been Band of Brothers, you've been Mis uh, Mystery Alaska. You're a big hockey guy too. I didn't know that. I was reading your bio. I didn't know you were such a big hockey guy. I sure am, and we just got a chance to do a, uh, you know, the last real episode that aired of ER was a hockey episode that they right. did. And, we got to do that, and that was fun, man. I'm a huge hockey fan. Now, who do you like? Uh, the playoffs get ready to fire up and everything. Who do you, who do you like in the You know, i got to say, I'm a Ducks fan because I, I got to watch them win the Cup last year. Right. Uh, and to, 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 to get to w see a team win the Cup is very rare that you, you'd actually time it out so you could be there for when they win. So I got to see them win it, and uh, I'm just pulling for them again this year. Now, as a hockey aficionado, to see the, our, our Nashville Predators, they're in there, right? So uh, what, what, what do you give them any chance of winning this thing? I mean, You, got, you, you know, know, with hockey, that's the greatest thing about it. It's, you know, anybody going into the playoffs has a shot. You, you, even the eighth-place team in, in, in the conference can, can win it, and that's what's so great about it because it's about – what they do in the playoffs, and anybody can step up. So you never know. I'd give it to anybody. Well, uh, we're fired up about it, man. ER tomorrow night, back with new episodes. This, this writer strike, man, it went on way too long, didn't it? It's good to finally get it kind of put behind everybody. It, you know, it went on too long, but it could have gone a lot longer. And so I'm really happy that they, they came to 
an agreement, and now hopefully the SAG strike won't hit, and everybody will be smart, and uh, we can just continue watching movies and good television. Hey, what's it all about, brother? Good having you back on, Scott, man. Hang on the line. We're going to get you a cut of station. Thanks, buddy. Always good, good to be on yeah, the show. Yeah, and uh, tell Dave, we said, hey, I know he's got some family up here. Your buddy who writes music with you hangs out. Dave Harris from right uh, here in Glasgow, right down the road from us. Uh, tell him we all are uh, thinking about him out there, okay? I sure will, man. He'd appreciate it. There you go, brother. Hang on a line. There you go. Scott Grimes, ER tomorrow night. He's Dr. Archie Morris, and he's not going to die. He just, don't tase him, bro. Just don't tase him. It's the Tony Rose Morning Show and Sam.